I'm, I would like to thank you fellas for having me in and having me at your march. For me to shout out and let my voice be heard, I've been this way before, but I was, I was only a boy when I came to Canberra. I came on a convoy with my father and my parents to came here to find a better life for me and my family to live in a community that we stayed for all our lives growing up in tents and then turned it into a community. Followed my mother and father all the way here. Now is my journey as the second youngest boy out of the clan. To follow my father's footsteps and my mother's footsteps. To get justice for us people in Western Australia. Western Australia is a racist place for us Indigenous people over there. I'm the, I'm the mouth and the man that stands up to all governments and all police officers. When they hear me coming, they tell me, Mr. Brofo, keep quiet. I don't keep quiet for no one. I'm a proud Indigenous man and I respect my elders because I've seen a lot of things happen in my family when we went struggling through a lot of deaths. I had one uncle died in front of me, mobbed by a big mob of wadulas. And this was in the Guildford Park. But he fought for what he believed in. He di actually died for what he believed in. Now, if a man can die for what he believed in, he must be a proud indigenous man. I buried a lot of mob. And every mob I bury, I, I always send them home with a flag. When we have funerals, we, we, we put the flags out because we're losing warriors. We're losing a lot of young fellows and a lot of elders. If we don't stand up for what we believe in now, we must forget about who we are. But I am who I am. I'm a proud Indigenous man, a Noongar man, and I won't sit down for no one, no government or anybody until I get my home back. We built the houses on it and they destroyed it one day. I took my mother home to die. On that day when my mother died, we got dream time stories. But when my mother died, my three brothers came and got her. My totem is the pelican. When these three pelicans came on the day of my mother's rest, they came in a, in a formation. And this is the first time I've ever seen pelicans in a formation. You know what a formation is? Yeah. It's when a pelican is beside a pelican, it's beside another pelican. But these pelicans, when they came, they went over my, my, my father's house and they turned in a perfect turn. Then they went over to my mother's house. When they came to her roof, they turned in a perfect A couple of minutes before that, my brother-in-law is a lawman. He said to me and my family said, there's someone down there coming to pick your mother up. And he was one of my three brothers. If we don't believe in our culture, if we don't believe in our stories, if we don't tell the stories to our kids, it will all, all soon to be lost. We need warriors, young fellows, to pass on and pass on the stories. So don't forget who you are. Today, for me to shout here is a privilege. In Western Australia, if I'd have done that, I would have been arrested and I move on notice. So be proud of who you, who you are. At the end of the day, you're a proud nation. And be, be proud of what you fellas are doing because you fellas have got a good thing going here. In WA, it's very hard. So thank you very much for, for having me over here. Have a good day.